There are a few different ways we can solve quadratic equations, uh, and one of them is by factoring. Now, factoring won't always work, but it does work sometimes. So if you want to try to solve a quadratic equation by factoring, first, rewrite the equation in ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero form. Okay, we need to get it equal to zero because we want to use that zero product principle uh, once we're done factoring. So first, get one side equal to zero. Step two, we're going to factor ax squared plus bx plus c equals, or sorry, plus c, not equals zero because we just want to factor the expression. Okay, so once we have it factored, then we can use the zero product principle Uh, to set each factor equal to zero. Right, because the zero product principle gives us that ability. If product is equal to zero, then one or the other or both were equal to zero. Then we'll solve the resulting equations. And that should give us our answers. And finally, we'll check. Uh, a couple of notes. Just because you can't factor doesn't mean that it, your equation doesn't have solutions. Uh, it may mean that you just weren't able to factor even though you, you could have. But it may also mean that uh, it can't be factored. But just because you can't factor doesn't mean there aren't solutions. Doesn't mean there aren't real number solutions. Okay, using that zero product principle to set each factor equal to zero is key here, which is why you have to have it set equal to zero first. There's no like seven product principle, because if I have two numbers that multiply together to be seven, they could be all kinds of things. However, if they multiply together to be zero, then for sure one of them was zero. Okay, so we've got that zero product principle, that's key, which is why we have to set it equal to zero. And then finally, it's always worth checking your solutions back in the original equation. It doesn't take super long. You can use a calculator or whatever you need to do, but make sure they work because then you know you've got the right answer. And if you don't get the, that it's equal, you know you've done something wrong.